right, guys, we're rolling again. Now we're talking world largest tech companies. Stay connected. Oh yeah, what's popping everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Peter. I'm a certified investor, personal finance enthusiast, and I'm also an IT professional. And on this channel, Game of Finance, we talk all things personal finance, investing, economy, retirement, and of course, mindset. So make sure you like, subscribe, comment, notification bell. That way you don't miss out any of my content, okay? Cool beans, let's go. And guys, here on Game of Finance, we're bringing positive change. Inspire, help, learn, share ideas, growth, and of course, good leadership. So please stay safe, stay healthy, and now, without further ado, let's get this work. All right, guys, let's go. Here we go. World largest tech companies. All right, guys? So let's see what we have. Now, major key, oh, this is all based on revenue. So the key here is going to be revenue. All right, guys. So what is revenue? Okay. Real quick. Easy. It's an increase in equity resulting from the sale of goods or services in the usual course of the business. So in a nutshell, money that you get for your products and services. All right, guys. That's basically what it is. That's the main focus for all these companies here. All right. That's another major key. Oh, check it out. This rest start right here. Base revenue. Now, this is all cover before expenses, guys. So this is major key before expenses. Okay. Now, moving along. Next term is going to be the TTM. This is the trailing 12 months. Sometimes you're going to hear you know, uh, many individuals in the profession call them in the LTM. All right. So basically the LTM is going to be similar to the TTM, but it's going to call last 12 months. You know, not, not much has changed. So regarding the wording, the LTM assesses the performance on the company for immediately preceding the 12 months. Okay, guys. So that's basically what it is when we are talking about the TTM and the LTM, all right? And also guys, besides verifying, confirming the performance on the company, this LTM and TTM can help us to make comparisons throughout the prior years, also make comparison to the peers of the company on that same sector. Also, another beautiful thing, it enables us to create accuracy and viable facts regarding about the company including the acquisition of, uh, uh, you know, for any future plans as well, or do if the acquisition happened during that year, we can verify all that information, funds, financial, all the reports. So this TTM LTM is key for us as an indicator for us to uh, investigate a little further regarding about the company and how is the company doing throughout that period. Okay, guys, let's begin. Pen and paper. Let's go. This blue dot right here. Let's begin in this section here. And we're going to start with Microsoft, Big Giant, Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, Ticket Symbol, MSFT. Now, the beauty point, guys. Revenue, remember, based on TTM, revenue, 110 billion, guys. Let me repeat that again. 100 and 10 billions. That is insane, guys. My goodness. Now, Microsoft. What about Microsoft? Okay. A global developer and licensing of software, devices, cloud solutions, and services. All right, guys. Of course, they have a bigger segmentation, but right now it will be almost impossible to name and pinpoint all of them. Okay. So let's keep it nice and simple. Okay. Let's talk about the products. I'm pretty sure you know products, windows, that is obvious computer operating system, their server, etc. Microsoft office, Skype, Xbox, user basic on and on and on. Now, of course, one of the main giants right now, 
as far as the segmentation is their cloud system. They use it for maintenance, administration, deploying, testing, etc. You can name it. So we are talking about a mo here, a big giant dominant player when it comes to the tech industry. All right, guys, remember Microsoft, 110 billion guy. Let's move on. Continue, another favorite of mine, right here, the yellow dot, Google, parent company, just in case you didn't know, it's Alphabet, all right? This is a conglomerate company here. Google, stock exchange, NASDAQ. Now, remember about the classes, they have two. Ticket symbol, let's go. G-O-O-G-L for class A and G-O-O-G for class B, all right? Now, beauty point, the major key, revenue. Remember guys, based on TTM, revenue, 137 billion guys. Oof, my goodness, 137 billions. Now, let's talk a little about Google. Multinational tech that specializes in internet services, products, online advertising, major key, search engine, go Google it. Of course, cloud, software, and hardware. Again, guys, similar to Microsoft, it is extremely hard to pinpoint all the segmentations. So, but those are the primary ones. Amazing. What about the products? Okay, there you go. Let's begin with Android. Next, the reason that we're here creating content. YouTube, yes. Chrome, operating system, Gmail, etc. On and on. They have a huge segmentation, guys. So this is an amazing company. Another mode. Again, Google, revenue, 137 billion, guys. Next. All right, guys. Continue with the next one, another monster right here. That green section here. Now, let's see what we have. Foxconn. Ticket symbol is gonna be HHP for on high precision. Now, as far as the stock has changed in this case, because Foxconn is an international stock, it will be a process through over the counter, the OTC, okay? Now, another, let's focus on the beauty point. Revenue, 176 billions, guys. It is, oh my goodness, we, we keep going up. 176 billions, guys, crazy. Little bit about Foxconn. Another multinational electronic manufacturing company for use in information technology, communication, automotive, automobile, precision, molding, consumer electronics, and a major key bonus, key supplier, guess who? Apple. Ah. Now the products, well, they focus on many electronics. As far as the, uh, the hardware, well, computers, TVs, servers, mobile phones, etc. We can, again, we can continue on and on. Remember what I just said a few seconds ago, one of the main um, suppliers for Apple. So you know that they're gonna be touching a lot of segmentation as far as the electronics. So another monster when it comes to the technology section. Foxconn revenue, 176 billions guys. All right, pen paper ready? Let's go to the next one. Moving along, tech mode right now. Another monster, Samsung, this yellow dot again here. So. Stock has changed. Samsung, this is an international stock. So you're gonna have to look it up in that particular section, maybe through an ETF, etc. But right now, that's not the main focus. So let's continue on. Samsung, revenue. Look at this monstrosity here. 222 billions, guys. Insane revenue, 222 billions. Now, Samsung. Major tech company that focus on consumer electronics, information technology, communication, etc. We have seen the TV. Hey, I have a Samsung TV at home, so you know they're, they're beautiful. So, what can you expect as far as the you know the products? Again, consumer electronics, one of the products, mobile phones, obvious. We've seen many of them, the computers, 
you know, the laptops, tablets, like I mentioned, the TVs, printers, and home appliances, guys. So this is another monster that's just pretty much everywhere. So again, Samsung revenue, 222 billions, guys. Craziness. Keep going, guys. Let's go. More revenue right here in this green dot. Let's talk about the, another monster, Amazon. Yes. Stock exchange, NASDAQ, ticker symbol, AMZN. Now, beauty point, which one? Major key. Revenue. Look at that revenue, guys. 233 billions. Again, 233 billion, guys. That is insane, major key. Wow. Let's talk about Amazon. All right, let's put it out there. Conglomerate company that's linked to Ecom. What's popping right now? They dominating Ecom. You better know about Ecom. Cloud, another monster, AI, consumer electronics, digital distribution, etc. Even grocery stores, guys. They dominating big time. Products, real quick. Echo, they have the Fire TV. They have the operating system, Kindle, Alexa, you name it. That they have also the big cloud AWS, which is huge. They even have certifications for that. So it's insane. Amazon is just dominating big time. So again, revenue 233 billions, guys. Insane. And we're not done. Let's go. And guys, last but not least, not even close. The another the big gigantor monster this red dot right here apple my goodness stock exchange nasdaq aapl again what is the monster revenue guys insane 266 billions again revenue ttm 266 billions my goodness talking about tech money huh Let's continue. Talk about the company. A company that designs, manufactures, and markets consumer electronics, smartphones, iPhone, etc. Some personal computers, tablets, and they have the other one as uh, personal devices. You know, you got your Apple Watch, etc. All right. So, oh, and don't forget about the home entertainment systems, okay? Which is crazy. All right. Now, the products, quick, Mac, iPhones, iPad, they have the Beats, the headphones, Apple TV, they have the operating systems, and the, like I mentioned, the Apple Watch, which is just right now hot out there. So, those are the products and some of the segmentations for Apple. Again, this is insane. This is a big, big mode company. So, big modes. You don't know what that is google it guys go ahead and google it that would be your homework okay so there you go microsoft google foxconn samsung amazon and apple guys all right guys bonus tip as far as investing side well i'm not gonna tell you to invest in any of these companies however i'm gonna share my own experience okay as an investor and as an it professional why I love this, all of all the companies, simple. They're mode, they bring peace of mind, okay? Why they're mode? Well, they have a strong financial health, business model, and huge segmentation. And again, I'm not only telling you this as an investor, but also, like I said, I'm an IT professional. I work in the technology and the system field. So I've seen how they work and how they operate. And it's amazing, again, so make sure that by any chance you're considering any of these companies, you do your research, due diligence, and educate yourself, okay? Don't just go because somebody else told you, all right? And guys, you have to make sure, remember, all these companies here, they all have their risk and their rewards. You need to be aware of both, okay? Hope you find this content valuable. Please practice due diligence. You got to do your homework, all right? educate yourself who means if you have any questions any comments please place them down below all right also guys i wanted to share my investing one-on-one prime guide it's in the description it's free 
So there's no excuse. Go grab it, put your name, email, take you straight to the download link. It's that simple, all right? No excuse. And also for my Latin Spanish people, same process. Correo electrónico, nombre, someta, los llevará al sitio web y ahí podrán bajar la guía de estudios. No hay excusa porque es completamente gratis. Bajen la guía, pónganse en palo suyo y a estudiar. Cool beans. All right, guys, make sure you like subscribe comment and don't forget the notification bell that's the call of duty major key formula all right so don't forget cool bean guys all right that wraps it up i appreciate your time thank you for watching i hope you have a great day and i see you on the next chapter remember work hard or work smart i'm out